start with TikTok because when you grow TikTok, you can grow Instagram at the same time because you can link it. You can grow your YouTube channel at the same time because you can link it. And then Instagram can be connected to Facebook. So whenever you post on Instagram, Marcita, there's a lot of entrepreneurs listening right now and just people in general who are super interested about marketing and content creation. Like what makes these things go viral? Like what actually converts into sales? Like what's actually good content? What's not? <laughs> like there's a million questions. I know especially <laughs> business owners are like, I don't even know what to do. And then like they get so overwhelmed because they're like, this yeah. is too much. Like, you know, so what would be some tips that you would have to offer? So I'll probably start with the basics, right? So like, first you have to understand how you even grow a business on social media. And people think that it's being on one platform or the other, but the good thing nowadays is like the short video format. And if you're not using short video format, like Reels or TikTok format, then you're probably not going to get those views. You're not going to get followers, which leads to leads and so more. So there's like a strategy that I tell everybody. I'm like, start with TikTok because when you grow TikTok, you can grow Instagram at the same time because you can link it. You can grow your YouTube channel at the same time because you can link it. And then Instagram can be connected to Facebook. So whenever you post on Instagram, automatically post on Facebook. So here you are with one video growing in so many different channels and cross promotion your audience. Mm -hmm. The other thing is like, where do you even start? So you have to keep in mind that Facebook or Instagram, like it's not what it used to be. Like people don't want to be sold. People don't get on Facebook or Instagram to be like, oh, I want to buy a pair of new glasses or I want to buy a perfume. They go in to socialize and be entertained and educated and learn something, laugh. So keep that in mind when you're making content for social media. Like I always tell people like, if let's say you're posting three times a week, which I think is probably like the average, uh, I always recommend at least three times a week to post because the platform needs to know that you're active, first of all. I tell people, make sure you are <laughs> making your content in a way that, okay, so I'm educating, let's say on Monday, I'm giving educational tips. On Tuesday, maybe I'm posting something behind the scene, like about the culture, my personality, my story, why I'm here, why I did what I'm doing. Uh, if you have a product, like how, like what is the journey of your product? Why did you create it this way? So, so people get to know a little bit more. When is it just something motivational, inspirational? Tell people, motivate people. Um, maybe Thursday, let's say if you're posting every day, you're doing something that is not even niched. Let's say if your target audience is women entrepreneurs, then say something that is so relevant to women entrepreneurs that probably everybody that watches that video that is a woman entrepreneur, they'll be like, yes that's me and they'll share with their friend and their other friend and so on and so on and that also makes what makes it really viral people think that going viral nowadays is so hard but it's so damn easy <laughs> if you understand these things and before i go to how you go viral then you basically educate your content right you show them your culture your personality yeah. you are on story by nurturing them a day in life and you, you show them who pamela is or who marcelda is you motivated them, you inspired them, you educated them. Then when you're promoting your product, they're ready because they have already learned the benefits. They've learned about you. Mm -hmm. You're not a stranger. You're action camera speaking. So yep. when you're selling something and giving a call to action, like either DM me or link in bio, schedule a call or wherever that might be, they're more willing to buy. And maybe they didn't buy the first week, but by you continue doing this this different content pillars, it will yeah. lead you to more sales and and leads. But you have to have always, doesn't matter what video you're posting, this also goes for the viral videos. Every video needs to have a hook, a story call to action. So what does it mean? When you're scrolling TikTok, Facebook, Reels, or whatever that might be, the first two to three seconds are the crucial part of somebody deciding whether to watch it mm. or skip. Like it's almost like, I guess like Tinder is like laughter, right? <laughs> I've never been on Tinder, but I'm just saying you like- You have it's, two seconds. Right, you have two, two seconds. seconds. So you have to think like, what am I going to say in those two, three seconds? People already know what this video is about and why they need to watch it. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't know what the video is about in the two, three seconds, you're like, hey guys, we're today in the show. Like basically like what we did today, because it's a different format, you lost them. They don't know what is in it for them. If they're going to laugh or be educated, you lost them. So go in the hook. 
three tips how to do this or two things you're doing wrong so have something that captures captivates them then share your story then say like oh like i'm saying this because i'm an expert on this so i'm saying this because my product is this and then have a call to action call to action means like follow for more social media tips and then always like if you're not doing the question to your audience in the video do it the first line of the caption which is always a question and not just like do you guys agree or what do you think but i always like try to find questions that people will have an opinion mm. if it's red or if it's black or white so let's say i might be like oh like uh you know like what do you think like is it good to work to be a stay-at-home mom or to work full-time there's no right answer in that so everybody's going to have their opinion and the people that will disagree in the comments guess what they'll do they'll fight with the other people <laughs> or they'll like reply to those comments <laughs> but what happens whenever somebody comments or there even if it's a sentence or a few words your video is replaying on the background so the more people are commenting on that video or the more relatable that video is to share with other people the more people watch and that what that's what makes a video go viral and people feel like is this like huge complicated honestly like i can make a video go viral every day if i want to but you don't usually make a video go viral if it's educational but if it's relatable so if i keep making videos go viral every day then I might lose that audience that is, doesn't know that oh, I do also social media marketing, I'm a business owner, <laughs> right, I'm not just like right. talking about random things. But always start with something very broad and then have your funnels and filters in place with the right education that people now are being nurtured, mm -hmm. are being educated. And then when you tell them like what you do and why they need to have your service or have your product, they're ready to buy. And that's how you basically grow your business in social media. I love that. I absolutely love that. Those were amazing tips, my friend. Thank you so much. Well, because like it, it seems like this foreign concept. I mean, there's a lot of work behind the scenes. Of I course. mean, John, there's it's a not ton of that. <laughs> but but like the concept is really really key, right? You're not just throwing ads out there. You're not just inundating people with this like commercial. Like that's not what it is. And I think that that's the biggest thing that people have a hard time with, right? Like. You have to remember you have to add value like you said you have to add value to your audience you have to entertain or educate them and then they'll build that relationship with you digitally to trust them right so that's amazing and it's the biggest key. thing is also like let's say if you have a product based um people think like okay i'll just make videos with videos and pictures of my product and that's it i'm like right. you have right. to keep in mind how we work as human beings if we don't feel something is something that we can touch or see in a way in our mind then it's not relatable to us so even you showing me that this cream of yours does magic because there's all this like vitamin and hyaluronic acid or i don't know whatever creams you have nowadays but that is not going to make me buy but if you start your video by sh putting that cream in your face and be like all this time like you have like a stronghold like oh my god i cannot believe that i didn't know this tip before to make me have less wrinkles or less sun damage or whatever that might be and you go in the story while applying the cream even if you don't mention the cream i bet you a lot of people be like what cream is that mm -hmm. what is the cream and that's where you get like leads or even just mention them oh you, you know. need to know like where to get this link in bio and that's how like a lot of people ask me like how does how do influencers make money that's how they make money on top of brand collapse, on top of monetizing their content. Because guess what happens? Story when you, time. YouTube, you can monetize it. TikTok, you can monetize it. So on top of everything else, but that's that monetization is nothing compared to the strategy that you have to get leads and to get sales through your links in bio. So yeah. make it easy for people to find you, to, to know what they're looking for. Even in your website, I see people like, instead of categorizing things by let's say i was going to this jewelry uh website one day i was trying to buy like a necklace for myself and um it was a beautiful brand like i loved the brand uh, and actually it was albanian owned too i loved it but i'm like i wish she categorized it by necklace bracelets earrings no she categorized it by i guess the style or the fashion i'm like you have to think that your audience is six years old always think that like think your audience is six years old and how do you explain something to them whatever it might be if they were six and if you do this if you have this in your mind whatever you're selling or you're pitching you'll make more sense to your audience because different audiences think differently and just right. because you think it makes sense like not everybody knows what that is so just be simple in your language be simple in your terms be human by being there show yourself show your team show your team's culture 
you'll be surprised of how many leads and sales you'll get by just doing that. Yeah, I love that, Marcia. I love that. Those tips are absolutely key. You just drop gems here.